60 grams of sugar, 500 milliliters of water, the juice of half a lemon, and the ingredients for kalbalus are 250 grams of semolina, 62 grams of melted butter, 100 grams of sugar, 30 milliliters of water, 30 grams of grated coconut, 30 milliliters of rose water. Here is what you need to do the day before. Mix the semolina and sugar. Add the melted butter and mix with your fingertips. Above all, do not knead. Add half the liquid, keep the other half in a glass for the next day and work as you wet the couscous. Cover with clean film and let it cool overnight. This is a very important step. The next day, leave the bowl at room temperature for around 30 minutes and in the meantime, prepare the syrup by pouring the sugar, water and lemon juice into a saucepan. Bring to a boil for about 15 minutes, do not allow it to become like honey. Take it off the heat, add the orange blossom water and let it cool. Gently mix the semolina seeds and wet with the rest of the liquid, which we left apart. At this level, add 30 grams of finely grated coconut. I finely chopped it in the mixer. Butter a bacon dish. The dimensions of the one I use are 28 by 18 centimeters. Place the dough with your fingertips in the mold and flatten it evenly. Then cut out equal parts with a large knife, making the knife stand out each time. Do not let it slide. Brush the surface with melted butter using a kitchen brush. Decorate with almonds and bake for about 1 hour in an oven preheated to 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Watch the baking because it all depends on the thickness of the cake. The cake must be golden brown. Take it out of the oven and using a ladle, sprinkle the syrup on the cake. Do not hesitate to sprinkle well. Put it back in the hot oven off and when the cake has absorbed well, sprinkle a second time and return it to the oven. Leave it to absorb. I sprinkled it four times in total because when cooling the cake absorbs the syrup. Do not worry, otherwise it will be dry and hard. Leave it to cool and cut the parts.